Hey, E-Scooter, it's winter. Why don't you skedaddle till the sun comes out? <laughs> oh no, don't worry about me. I'm water resistant. I can handle anything. Rain or shine. <laughs> oh yeah? Why don't you put your hub motor where your mouth is? <laughs> oh, sounds like a challenge. How thrilling. <laughs> Hello guys! Merry Christmas! It's nearly Christmas, I think it's the 21st of December today and as you can see it's very wet and windy here in London it's your classic Christmas in England. Today I am reviewing the Fido D2S e-bike which I've been commuting with for the last couple of weeks and really enjoying in fact, if there's one thing I've learned from scooting around all year is that electric scooters and winter don't really mix that's not to say I've stopped using my scooter, I still definitely am for shorter trips, popping to the shop, taking it on the tube and whatnot. But for urban commuting in the winter months, you probably want to get yourself one of these. Okay, let's take a closer look at this Fido D2S. It's got three speed modes, full electric, pedal assist, and of course, manual pedal mode. It's got a claim top speed of 25 kilometers an hour, that's 15.5 miles per hour, a range of up to 35 kilometers, a 250 watt motor, 280 watt hours of battery, five hour charging time, 16 inch wheels, and you should be able to pick it up for $499. Looking at the dashboard here, we've got six speed Shimano gears, and we have a very, very simple LED display which as you can see only shows what mode you're in and also your battery life but it doesn't show how fast you're going we also have a button for the front light and a horn get out of my way braking wise the Fido uses two mechanical disc brakes front and back which should mean very very effective braking one of the biggest pulls about this bike in particular is the rear suspension mechanism which does a great job at absorbing the bumps and the cracks. It also means you can jump off curbs, no problem. And speaking of comfort, you're definitely going to appreciate this nice wide and comfortable saddle which holds your peach nicely. Another nice addition to this Fido bike are two really, really good quality mudguards that really stay in place. They don't shift much which is great, so they'll stop your bum from getting wet. The pedals seem basic but pretty decent quality and thankfully they do fold away as well. The overall build quality of the Fido bike really really surprised me straight out of the box you felt how solid it was. I was really surprised considering it's a budget bike that it has this kind of good build quality um, but I'm not a massive fan of all these exposed wires though. The Fido bike in its folded form is about as practical as you can get for folding down a bike. It gets pretty small and this makes it handy for storage. There's also a handy carrying handle on the Fido bike, but I recommend kind of keeping the seat up and wheeling it along like this. Once you've got the knack of it, you can literally unfold it in a few seconds, and it's refreshingly light for an e-bike at just 19 kilograms. But one of my main gripes with this bike is that even though the battery is nice and stealthily stored in the bike, um, it's not easily removable unless you've got a, a posi driver, a screwdriver with you at all times. But you can simply charge it by plugging it in somewhere under there. Okay, so that's the bike. Um, let's see what she can do. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh absolutely no qualms about the brakes on this bike they're very very good indeed um, as expected even in the cold wet conditions um, this bike stopped in a heartbeat thanks to those two mechanical disc brakes so I think that's really 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 good let's move on all right speed test in moped mode or full electric mode as you will see the acceleration is very slow gradual acceleration and we should only hit about 20 kilometers an hour top speed okay 21 but that's the best you'll get if you're willing to put in the extra lead work the pedal assist will help you get a little bit faster I'm really going for it here and I can just about hit 25 kilometers an hour okay 
So um, I think my single biggest gripe with this e-bike so far is that it just doesn't go quite fast enough. Um, moped mode is 20 kilometers an hour max. You can definitely get a little bit faster if you're willing to put in the leg work and pedal, but um, yeah, you're gonna have to work for it. And I think from riding scooters so much, I don't really like working for it, so never mind. But if you are a, a slower cyclist, and you're new to e-bikes then this is probably fast enough for you anyway but for me it's a little bit slow i think i've been riding scooters too much and i'm just getting a bit lazy okay moving on Okay, um, so not much of a problem when it comes to hills as long as you're willing to put in that extra leg work and use the pedal assist and the moped mode at the same time, which is by the way how I'm pretty much using this bike all the time is pedaling and using the moped mode to get that extra speed. But that's why the pedals are there, to pedal. So, pedal. <laughs> All right, so enough of the tests, enough of the stats, enough of the facts. What's it actually like to ride? Well, I've been really enjoying commuting with this bike through London. It's done the job. It's definitely the most comfortable e-bike I've ridden for a start. That suspension works great in conjunction with that nice spongy seat. It really offers a comfortable ride. My only real downside is the speed. I would like to go a little bit faster, as I've mentioned, but overall, it's a great bike to ride. And if you're looking for something to take the legwork out of your commute, then this might be the e-bike for you. It brakes well, it handles well, and it looks pretty cool too. No complaints here. Unfortunately, I didn't fit in a concrete range test with this review, but after my 10 mile commute, the battery of the bike had reduced by just over half, which isn't too bad. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas. Okay. Cutting straight to the chase, I think this bike is blooming brilliant. I've been commuting with it for a few weeks and I've really, really, really enjoyed it. I think, honestly, it's the perfect introduction to e-biking if you haven't had an e-bike before and you want something small, foldable and fairly light, then you'd be hard crossed to find something better value than this. Shushing, pushing, bang, wash. <laughs> One. It's definitely not perfect. It's not fast enough for me, really, but it gets me by. I have been managing it. And and it doesn't have a removable battery, which for me is another issue, especially because I live upstairs and I'm sick of carrying it upstairs every day. But it does give me these guns. Oh, yeah. If you're a casual cyclist and you're looking to try an e-bike, something with a bit, a bit more assist to get you by, this is the way to go. Honestly, I didn't think I was gonna like it. I wasn't super excited to review it, but in all honesty, I prefer this bike in every aspect to my F16 Plus bike, which I've been using to get me through the winter, except that the F16 is faster and has the removable bath the battery, b -b battery. The Fido D2S has the suspension, it's lighter, it's much better build quality, it's much more comfortable. That's the only real basis for comparison I have. They're both small foldable e-bikes. But definitely check out that video on the F16 if you're looking for something a bit faster. Blah, 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 blah. I mean, the biggest takeaway from this video is that if you can get an e-bike in the winter, e-scooter in the summer, happy days. Link to the bike below, by the way. Hopefully there'll be a promo code. Um, yes. As long as you're happy at going the max speed of 20 kilometers an hour, which is fine for most people. Like I say, if you're a casual cyclist, you'd probably be happy with this. I didn't really do a range test, but I'm not totally blown away by the range on my average commute, which is between 10 and 12 miles. It managed it, but I did lose about half the battery, so I do, it doesn't have anywhere near the range of the F16, but it will probably do the job in most cases. Side note, I have been rallying this bike literally throttle all the time until I got a kind of limp wrist and pedal assisting the whole time so I have been really kind of taking it to its max and generally I'm very happy so yeah that's all I've got to say really I, I think you'd be hard to push to find something better in the price category but it doesn't matter what I think what do you guys think drop me a comment below 
Let me know what you thought on the bike. Let me know some alternatives. Let me know what else you would like me to review, and maybe I'll review that as well. Um, but until then, I'm very lo much looking forward to having a well-earned break and maybe find some sun in the new year. Get a bit of sunshine, a bit of vitamin D, you know? Uh, so guys, assuming I edit this before Christmas and New Year, I'm going to want to wish you a very, very, very Merry Christmas and a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful New Year, and I'll see you in 2020. I'll see you in the next decade. Um, if you've enjoyed my videos this year, then I thank you very, very much. I've enjoyed making them on the most part, So, and I appreciate your support massively. Until the New Year, until the new decade, subscribe, like, all that jazz, and we'll see you in the next one. Are you with me? Come on, guys! What a load of whippers!